Hey, this is uh, Christopher here. I'm going to show you my uh, very first test of my uh, sequencer that I've been building for a while. It's a 32-note uh, analog sequencer uh, that you control with knobs. It outputs uh, gate and control voltage for a modular synthesizer. This is my uh, modest uh, synthesizer.com system. Uh, very basic with the two oscillators, uh, transistor ladder filter, envelopes and amps. Um, anyway, um, I have not tried this yet. I've been building this uh, uh, sequencer for quite a while, uh, mainly building the internals. You can see back here, there's a bunch of custom circuits and whatnots and an Arduino in there. Anyway, um, so uh, let's start with the synthesizer. We have uh, two oscillators that are uh, Outputting uh, a sawtooth into the filter, uh, and we have two envelopes that are controlling. One is controlling the filter, and one is controlling the uh, amplifier, the VCA. And uh, the uh, pitch for the oscillators is controlled. Goes here to this uh, homemade little multi, which we will then connect to the sequencer. And the gate for the two envelopes is uh, going into this little multi here. So first we're going to connect the uh, gate to the sequencer. I have not tried this before, but oh well. Oh, hey, look at that. The gate is triggering the envelopes. You can see them uh, there. And of course there's no uh, variation pitch because we don't uh, do that yet. So I'm going to control the CV here, the control voltage. And now, well, of course, all the knobs are at zero. Uh, there are no step lights or anything yet, but let's start. Ooh! That's the first note we hear there. Yeah. Very sensitive. I'm gonna have to build a quantizer into the system here. Oh my god, that's f Wow, that's pretty cool. It uh, controls the synthesizer. The, so the uh, dot com is actually outputting through a um, core Cronus, just so I can use the delay and the reverb here, that you probably can't see. Anyway, um, and yeah, that's about it. It seems to be working. I'm uh, pretty pleased to be. Uh, to be having it up and running. Here's the actual code. Oops, very bright. Uh, running in the Arduino IDE. You can see there, very messy, but at least it's uh, up and running. Oh, that's my whiskey. Um, anyway, this is uh, pretty awesome. I uh, will uh, keep uh, chugging along and uh, post back once I have hooked up more channels and the. Uh, uh, well, we can maybe go over sequences. So we have a row of pitch uh, here, and another one here, and another here, and another here. So full 32 uh, notes. And here is a little switcheroo thing where we can uh, select if we want um, 1 by 32 or 4 by 8 or whatever. Uh, here's some tempo. None of these buttons are hooked up, only the first uh, eight uh, pitch buttons are hooked up. Uh, this is the length of the gate when you control the internal oscillator here. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, three state switches. The holes here is where the uh, LEDs will go. These uh, control whether or not you should skip or stop or, uh, or uh, uh, do some other stuff. And here's a... Uh, I forgot. Well, actually this one controls when this one is in the middle. Anyway, uh, quantizer and stuff built in here. We have CV and gate for uh, each row. 
and uh, I'm gonna have MIDI out here. This is transpose in, this is shift inputs, and this is uh, reset inputs. And here will be start, stop, and reset buttons as well. So this is uh, kind of modeled on the uh, Moon Modular uh, 569 sequencer that I uh, adore. I've never tried it or never seen it. I've just seen pictures of it and uh, some demos. Uh, and I fell in love with it, so I figured if I should build something, it might as well be uh, something that I really like. So uh, there we are. Uh, more later. Thank you.